Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new Dead Frontier 2 video. This is going to be on the new update that's uh, introduced armor and also backpacks to the game. As you can see, I've got one on my back here. We're going to be having a look into the preview menu, just having a look at some of the new backpacks. Checking out the armor, explaining how it all works and everything. It's a pretty good update, actually. It's a really good update, you know, definitely in the right direction. So anyway, guys, let's get on with the video. All right, so we're going to have a look at a, the new items. We're going to have a look at the backpacks. Then we're going to check out the armor. Then I'm going to explain some things about the armor because there's some people that really don't understand it. And I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know how. At least it's not hard to, you know, see what it is. Um, and then I'm going to give some insight on, like, how I think the game, you know, could get a little bit better. Just take that next step, you know? But anyway, <laughs> let's have a look. At the backpacks so as you can see I've got one on my back here these are extremely I I'm guessing they're extremely rare items to find because after the update I played for like nine hours and I didn't find one there was nice. other, like I don't know anyone that's found one yet so we're gonna have a quick look here buy in we're gonna go to backpack and this is everything on the market this is all of them you know, like this is how hard they are to find. Which is kind of like kind of weird because I've only seen these on all day. But yeah, so a bit. Give me a, let me give you a tip to backpacks. Don't buy them because you know after a few weeks when everyone's found a bunch and you know, people only need one. So when people start finding them, these prices are going to dramatically drop very quickly. So don't don't buy any backpacks. These. These prices are ridiculous. Don't don't bother buying them. But yeah, we've got the large racks, uh, the rucksack gives you plus eighty percent inventory capacity, minus twenty percent movement speed. Rucksack plus fifty percent, minus fifteen percent. Military day pack plus forty percent, minus five percent. I think this one will kind of, like kind of be expensive compared to the rest. This one and the large one. These will be the expensive two. Uh, day pack, you know, plus forty, minus ten. Uh, kids backpack plus 20 minus 5 so I do like what he's done here how he's made it give neg negative movement speed because people are moving too quick in the game like I've seen a lot of people say I agree with it people are too quick so and how, like how they've got this one that gives you a decent amount of inventory capacity and barely any negative movement speed so this would be like one on a bossing character which this one would definitely be on a looting character do you know what I mean like that's how you're going to do it they got rid of private trades. You can't do private trades anymore. You can still do it, but you can't accept it unless you're in, you know, the safe zone. Private trades, incoming, you know, you click accept. If I go outside, you'll see that you can't accept them when you're outside anymore. Which So now the game actually feels more like an open world game finally. Because it's like having that private trade and being down in this area, it was pointless. It was like the game never got the open world update. It was such a... Such a weird thing, and I'm glad he finally got rid of it. So, yeah, that's that's the backpacks anyway. We're going to have a quick look if we go to cosmetics. Oh, also, there's this new cosmetic screen, which is honestly, it sucks. I, I, Neil, if you see this, I'm sorry, this is a terrible idea. I've seen a lot of other games that do this. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online does it. Fallout 76 does it. Both Bethesda games. Um, Valorant does it. What's that other new one that's just come out? Rogue Company, that does it. it. A lot of games do this, and it's honestly it's such a bad idea because if you get someone that wants to buy a couple of items, they can't buy them until they come in the shop. So they're not going to spend any money. So now you're losing sales until eventually one day they see the items in here and then they get them. This is honestly a really bad idea. So you're going to be losing out on sales. Like, I'm not going to buy anything in here because I don't want anything in here. I, you know, I wanted a, one of these helmets, but I don't want that helmet. I don't want a green one. I want a black one. So I'm not going to buy that. I'm, you're just not going to earn any money from me until the black one comes in. <laughs> Honestly, it's a shocking idea. The best thing to do, take all these items, put them in the, like, put them back into the, you know, the basic cosmetics and have this as a special, special deal today. My, you know, minus 25% and make it so it's like a sale. Rather than the special cosmetics, make it a sale. That's I, that's not a good idea. But anyway, onto the backpacks. Let's have a look at the backpacks. That's what I do. I have it as a twenty-five percent off for today, and it gives you a random 
10 cosmetics in there. That's what I do. I think that's much much better idea. But you know, each you know, it's up to you, it's your game. I'm just like, I'm saying that'd be a way better idea. The large rucksack, here it is. Boom. Looks all right. You know, I think the backpacks do look all right. They're not too bad. Uh, they don't have any movement or anything. Like they don't, they don't move on their own. But you know, they're decent. They work. I'm actually quite happy with them, to be fair. So yeah, that looks pretty good. There's the large rucksack. Then we've got the rucksack, a little bit smaller. This one gives you minus twenty percent run speed, and plus sixty percent inventory. So it's like the crappier version of the large rucksack because this gives you the same. Minus run speed, but it gives you 80% inventory. So, yeah, the, the uh, rucksack will probably be a cheap one, to be fair, this one. Uh, rucksack in white. There's the white version. We've got the military day pack. This is the plus 40% and minus 5% run speed. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Then we've got the normal day pack. Just a, you know, just a darker brown. Uh, the cycling backpack. This is the cosmetic that I've got. I really like this. It goes with my outfit really well, so... I uh, use that one, and then you have the normal backpack. This is like a smaller one. And last is the kids' backpack. And now, if you're not into backpacks, you know, you don't want them as a cosmetic, you can hide your backpack. You can get the hide backpack cosmetic for 50, 50 credits, which is next to nothing. So, yeah, that's all the backpacks in the game. Now, on to the next item the armor. A lot of people don't understand the armor. I don't get why people are upset about it. It is a good update. <laughs> Neil. Good, good update, bro. Right, so I actually bought a piece of armor to show you because mine is a cosmetic because I don't wear a piece of armor. Now you're thinking, now I know I know what you're thinking. I know what's going up in your head. You're thinking, wait, you just said they're good. Why aren't you wearing one? It's very simple. It doesn't have its own slot. Boom, I equip that. I have now lost my rare shirt. I do agree. I don't think they should be in your top, like your shirt slot. I think it should be a separate slot. It should have its own separate thing on the uh, the buy on the market where, you know, you click armor. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't take the top slot. But, you know, if you want it to do that, then it does that. But no, it shouldn't do that. But whatever. So a lot of people are upset about the armor because it takes your top slot. They're saying, oh, it's really bad. It's not doing anything. No, you're wrong. Even if it keeps it how it is, it's still a good item. It's still an upgrade. The reason people are complaining is because the Kevlar is not as good as their top. That is complete horse. So the reason I say that is because it gives you the armor absorption, armor absorption, uh, yeah, that word, <laughs> of 20% and armor durability of 30. Now, some people are saying, oh, it's crap. It's only, you know, 20% and it's only 30 durability because this is the first piece of armor. Obviously, as we get higher levels, we will get better armor. If he just gives us the best armor now, then what's he going to do when he has level 40 and level 50? So obviously, he can't do that. So when you get to level 30, that's when you're going to start wearing armor. Now, the reason people are saying it's worse is because they have really good tops. I have minus 14 incoming damage, 31 inventory capacity, and 29 health. My top has 20% absorb, 30 durability, 23 incoming stun, 22 bleed, 18 visibility, 28 hydration. My top is tons better than this. Light years better than this. But, right, this is why this is where the stupid stupid like this is why the stupid people have been arguing. But now this is actually no, this is what this now how I'm going to explain to the stupid people that this is a good idea and this is good, right? So if I had these stats, you know, the incoming damage, the inventory, and the health, if I had them stats on the Kevlar vest, the Kevlar vest would be better because I also take an extra 20% less damage from the damage that I'm taking on top, you know, like, you know, I take the extra 20% less damage. Reason being, because I'm wearing armor. So the reason people are complaining that Kevlar's crap is because it takes their top spot. Which I agree, that's not the, it shouldn't do that. But even if it does, when you find a Kevlar vest with similar stats to your shirt or your jacket or whatever, the Kevlar vest will be better. It's just, I think people are just upset that it takes that slot. Right, so how the armor works. This is what people have been confused with. I take... Where is incoming damage? I take 42%, my, let's say 40%, right? Just to make it a little bit easier on maths. Say I take minus 40% incoming damage, yeah? 
If I get hit for 100, say a Titan hits me for 100, yeah, that gets knocked down to 60 because of my minus 40%. And then you're thinking, yeah, but you're wearing a Kovalar vest, so you should be hitting 40, it should be hitting a 40. No. It's then going, like, so I take 60 damage because of my minus incoming damage, and then the armor takes an extra 20% damage off of the 60. So now, right, so what would that be, right? 20% of 60. That'd be 12, yeah? So now I'm taking 48 damage instead of 60 damage. It's not a flat take away 20, it's 20%. Yeah, that's how it works. And for each hit, you lose one durability. So I have 30 durability, so it'll take minus 20% of the damage that I'm going to take 30 times. So if I'm going to be hit for 100, because of my minus incoming damage, it will go down to 60. And then because of the armor, it will go down to 48 because it's taking away 20% of the 60. And that's how the armor works. So yes, it is a good, it is a good update. It does work. It's just, this is the first piece of armor. So don't get upset that it's not the most overpowered thing in the game. Like, we will get a better army in the future, okay? So, that's that. Now, what, I, what I've been thinking, like, personally, what I think we should, like, we should work towards now, this is just, you know, if you're not bothered about hearing about updates or anything anymore, you just want to listen to me talk, some of my ideas, then this is the part of the video where you want to stay. If not, then we're done talking about the update. But, what I what I personally like to see now is a, I've been saying this for a long time a better inventory. We need squares, or you know, just so we aren't going to keep going through the scroll wheel. Just think how many squares you could have here: one, two, three, four, five. So instead of having rare axe, you know, you'd have a picture of your axe, picture of a sauna shotgun, picture of your combat armor. All this sh shouldn't be in your inventory. Your equipped stuff. This shouldn't be here. We need a better inventory. How it is on Dead Frontier 1, how you get the squares, how every survival game does it or every MMORPG does it, that's how it needs to be. Like, we really need a better inventory system because this is this is really bad. I've been saying it for a very long time. Uh, Admin Pawn, there's a good chance he'll watch this. I'm hoping he really takes this in and really listens to me because I've, I've, I've said to him a lot of times, I'm not telling him what to do. It's his game. Obviously, I, I don't have any say in it, but please give us a better inventory system. Just give us a better system. This is horrible. This is horrible to use on a daily basis. Going through this all the time. I know it'd be a lot of work. You got to make all the pictures and stuff, but then you could work onto other stuff. A lot of people, and I've seen a lot of people asking for this. They've been wanting some quick bars on the bottom of the screen. If you if you made that inventory system, then you could do that. You could have like a five slot thing. So you could see, say at the bottom of the screen now, say if there were five squares, you could have one would show my primary weapon, my shotgun or whatever. The second one would show my machete. The third one, I can drag an item in. The fourth one, I can drag an item, item in. The fifth one, I can drag an item in. How I'd personally think it would work, because obviously if you've got 10 paramedics in your bag, and you have a paramedic bag on slot three, that's kind of overpowered. So what I would say is if you drag a paramedic bag, even if you've got 10 in your inventory, if you drag one over and then you press number three, then the slot goes empty. So you can only use the item that's there once and then you'd have to drag another one in. Do you know what I mean? So you can only have three in for fives or whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that's just an idea. Again, also, Level 40 zone, so something about cars. Cars are useless right now, apart from getting from, you know, base to base. But they have these big, like, you can deck your cars out. Like, I've got mine decked out, if we have a look. Manage. Rare cylinder head. I've got rare exhaust, rare fuel injector, rare roof box. Um, superior tires. But I have 36 slots, and I have nothing nothing to use it for so what i'm really hoping for i know some people are going to hate me for saying this but if when we get level 40 and level 50 area this is what i was saying in stream earlier like rather than just adding it on maybe have a br right just listen just stay with me stay with me maybe the car takes you to a different map or you have a bridge right you have a bridge and you can drive the car to the bridge Right, so say the bridge is here, right here. You could drive a car to that bridge. It'd have a driving location. 
but he wouldn't be a trader there. So you couldn't buy stuff off other players. You know, maybe have a mailbox. No, don't even don't even have a mailbox because you can do private trades. Make it so you can't do private trades there. Just have don't have an account stash. Just have a bridge with some NPCs for your higher tier missions. Right? And then your car will be your bank. Then you're giving us an, a use for cars again. How you can chuck stuff into the car. You know, you can take extra supplies where you're thinking, right, I want to go to level 40, 50. I want to be there for a while. I want to fill my car up with ammo, meds, all that good stuff. You know, make it feel like we're trying to survive in this open world zombie apocalypse MMO RPG. You know, make us like, feel like we're trying to survive. This is what this update has done you know, getting rid of the private trades. It's trying to make it feel more like an open world game. That's what we need. We need the game to be harder.